can you guys see me okay? So, sorry for this weird setup, but I wanted to do the unboxing of the Siren City Sides, the new books that came over, because um, they're matte, I think I'm saying it correctly, matte finish, and not the glossy thing. And this is the first box that I got, so I'm going to like uh, open them. Right. You see? Because I want you to see it together with me. The beautiful. Wow, look at this. This is so awesome. You see how it's not glossy at all? This is so cool. Wow, let me um, just kind of open up my laptop here a little better. And uh, just kind of flip through it together with you. So you can see I'm shining the light on it right here and see how it's like even to the touch it's awesome it's like velvety oh wow I really really like it so I sold out all the other books that I had the glossy ones and this one will be the new ones that I'll be selling let me uh, let me read to you from chapter 6, because I haven't done a reading from chapter 6 um, yet, and I thought, last time I did a public reading, I kind of looked at it and I thought, ooh, that's a, that's a great place to read from. Oh, no, never mind, chapter 5. <laughs> so, chapter 5, Lake Keenan. Over the last six years of contemplating why my mother jumped off the rural bridge and how he must have felt, I buried my pain and kept myself busy by researching every possible detail about suicide jumping. I read that objects tend to fall at the same rate regardless of their weight, as long as there is no major air resistance. The formula is distance equals 16 times the amount of seconds squared. That means, no matter how much you weigh, it would take you about 3 seconds to fall down 167 feet. On this rainy September morning, it feels like 10 to me. Maybe because I'm so close to dying, my sense of timing becomes distorted. Strangely enough, the things that flow through my head are facts. I hold on to them for dear life. My name is Alien Bright. I was born at 6.30 a.m. on September 7, 1993. Two weeks early, weighing only 5.5 pounds, 16 inches long, head first, delivered by my father, in our marble bathtub full of water, my mother giving birth naturally without pain medication or any professional help. Exactly 16 years later, I'm leaping to death at about 6 in the morning of September 7, 2009, weighing only 107 pounds, 5, six, five feet 6 inches tall, feet first, escaping my father into a huge basin of water called Lake Union to meet my mother's fate on a whim having used acid and weed as pain medication after rejecting professional help. And one more fact. Today is a Monday. Suicide rights are highest on Mondays. I'm about to become another Monday. All of these thoughts take less than a fraction of a second while my toes detach from the concrete. Air sucks me into a vortex of mad rush and kicks all thoughts out of my head. A floating sensation gets quickly replaced by sheer terror and an urge to grab onto something, anything, to keep from falling but my fingers close on nothing. The wind sticks its cold hand into my open mouth, and I can't make a sound, let alone breathe. Funny how your life always starts with a scream, but doesn't always end with one. My arms trash like the wings of an immature bird. Legs climb invisible stairs. Ears ring loudly. My heart leaps into my throat and threatens to burst me apart. My skin burns from the freezing wet clothes stuck to it as if glued. I see everything and nothing caught in a blur of sky, water, air, and tears. Suddenly, I know that I just made the biggest mistake of my life. One minute of fantasy is better than nothing? Whatever gave me this stupid idea? Forget it, I changed my mind. I want to turn back time. I want someone to save me at the last second, like in the movies. But this is real life, and in real life, the surface of the lake rushes at me with inhuman speed. My survival instinct screams at me to do something. I forget why I wanted to jump, desperate to stop it. Six years of wanting to die go down the drain, all this gazing into water, wondering how my mother felt. Every single image I conjured about it vanishes. Instead, a few intense questions overwhelm me. 
What the hell am I doing? How the hell am I going to survive this? If I press my legs together and enter the water straight as a rod, feet first, will I have a better chance? Even that gets replaced by one internal cry. Fuck this shit. I don't want to die. Well, that's going to be it for the reading. Oh, I keep forgetting to look at the camera. There's the camera. And um, so these are the new books that are mate. I think that's the correct way of saying it. And I guess um, I wished it was it was not going to be like mirror like for you guys on the screen, which is totally weird, but it is because I'm using the photo booth on my Mac and I don't know how that works. It works mirror wise, but it's velvety. You can like touch it and hug it and sleep with it. And so you can order it now uh, on my site. And uh, next video I'll do, I'll do a reading of the uh, first chapter from Irkadura, my novel that I'm writing right now, because I'm at seven chapters now and I'm going to post uh, an excerpt on my blog too tomorrow. Bye.